Hey golf fans, this is early 1981 and welcome back to some more PGA Tour 2K23 gameplay on the channel. Today I will be checking out Chewbacca Rant Skywalker. This is obviously a Star Wars themed golf course and I'm really looking forward to checking it out. So the course details it is a par 58, fairways and farms are green, the green speeds are medium fast, weather is overcast and the time of day is dusk. Let's check out the tee options. There are two tee options. We will be swinging from the white tees, which are playing 3,243 yards. And as always, pin set number one. Thank you so much for the continued support on the channel, guys. If you are new, please make sure to smash the subscribe button. And if you are enjoying the content, please leave a like. So here we are on hole number one. This is an extremely short par four. I'm going to try and run this up the fairway onto the dance floor. I think three wood should be more than enough here. But this looks like we are situated in Tatooine, is it? I do hope that's how uh, it's pronounced. I'm not a Star Wars buff, but I am fully aware of all the movies and the series and things and do enjoy them. I'm sure this looks like it is Tatooine. I'm sure that's where Skywalker was raised on a farm. Surprised that shot came up short. But let's see if we can chip this one in for an opening eagle. That's got a chance, you know. Didn't turn as much as I expected it to, but that very fast ensured the ball did hang out there to the left. But it's going to be a simple tap in birdie. Green speeds are 151. So we do move to one under. Very easy opening hole. And let's see what awaits us in hole number two. This is an uphill par three, playing 147 yards. Wind slightly in my face, but there is a backstop if we are long here. Let's go with a 9 iron, just going to apply a good bit of loft and a little bit of top spin here. I expect this to land short of the pin and hopefully release out. That is a lovely strike by the way. This should get a firm kick. It has done and that's a fantastic approach shot into that elevated green and that has left me with a 6 foot putt. This is going to turn a little bit from left to right. I've absolutely smashed that, took the break out of it, caught the edge of the cup. And we went five foot past. What a terrible putt. That's a disappointing part. Absolutely smashed that putt. That's really frustrating. And I will stay at one under par. But hole number three. This is a downhill par three. Fantastic grandstands built into the rock there on the right hand side. That really pops out with the colour coordination. But let's go with the pitching wedge here. Playing the wind in the elevation. We do get a perfect. I have pulled my swing line slightly to the left, though, but this is tracking well. Sits down instantly. It should come off the backstop, and that really is a fantastic tee shot once again. Hopefully this time I don't miss the birdie putt. Very similar putt to what I missed in the previous hole. This time we do get the weight, and we do move to two under par. But the background detail in this course really is fantastic. Such a cool course. And it feels like an eternity since I have covered a fantasy course on the channel. But let's fade this pitching wedge. I have applied a lot of backspin as well. We do get a laser beam perfect. Oh, that fade's kicking in beautifully. This should sit and come back towards the pin a little bit. It's just held. I really expected that ball to, to spin back another few feet there, especially coming off this down slope. This is a more trickier putt than what we've had. That should hold its line. Oh, it's another lip out. Wow. I think that was more the weight than the read there. Yet again, I've overhit the putt. And I do remain at two under. But look at this for a downhill par three. Loving the desert look. The misty, foggy look as well. That really entices you into the round. Let's go 8 iron here. It's another perfect. We really are swinging well. This ball is tracking well. It should kick and release out towards the pin. Get in the hole. Could be an ace here. That really is a fantastic tee shot. That's a guaranteed birdie. And I really should be 5 under here. Sadly, we're only 3. 
Let's move on to hole number six. You guessed it, it is a par three. That bunker is preventing a run-up shot. So let's try and draw five wood from right to left and kick it up from the front of the green, hopefully taking this bunker out of the equation. It's a tiny slope. Oh, this is tracking really, really well. What a golf shot this could be. Surely this finds a slope and starts to work its way back. No, yet again, it's hung up there. This is actually a par four. So this is a downhill putt from 24 feet. The ball just doesn't seem to want to come back down off these slight shelves. I've definitely got the weight here. That ball should start to turn back towards the cup. It's looking good. It is good. And what an eagle that is. Fantastic eagle after a very good approach shot. And I'm very surprised that that is a par four. But it is my first eagle of the round. It does take me to five under par. And if it wasn't for those two missed birdie opportunities earlier on, we could be tearing this course up. But hole number seven... Elevated par three, wind has died down ever so slightly. There is a backstop if I am long here, so I'm going to try and apply full loft and full backspin to this pitch and wedge, just really in between clubs here. But let's see if we can land this one close to the pin. Oh, it's a tiny slow. That ball is leaking right. Yardage is going to be decent too. That slow just shifted me. 13 feet right of the pin. Not the worst outcomes, though. This putt will break from right to left. We've got the weight. Have we got the read? We have got the read. I do move to six under par. Very happy with that birdie putt. And hole number eight. 163 yards into the wind. Let's aim for the right-hand side of this pin. Eight iron with a little bit of topspin should be ideal here. This should land at the front of the green. And with the topspin we have applied, D-loft, it should kick out. It's another tiny slow, but this should get better and better. Just going to come up a little bit short, but that is a good golf shot. It's left me a nine-foot putt. Just going to play this one firm. Try and take the break out. And that is a solid putt. Seven under par. And we move on to the final hole of the front nine. Back into the grandstand arena. This is a shared green. But look at that grandstand built into the, the rocks there. Very, very cool. I'm just in between clubs here. I think eight iron is going to be short. Let's go with a seven iron. Full off, full backspin. Play the wind. Anything to the left of this pin should be decent. I've pulled my swing line. And combined with that tiny fast, that ball is really leaking left. That's a poor shot. Probably our worst approach shot of the round so far. And that's left me a 41-foot putt downhill. Turning from left to right. This is a tough putt. This is a huge green. That needs to start to turn. I tell you what, that was a good effort. It just didn't turn as much as I expected it to. And this is no gimme from eight feet just for the par. Solid par after that poor tee shot. And we do finish the front nine at seven under par. Let's see if we can continue this good run. And why look at this for a hole. All of a sudden it's like night time. Pitch and wedge, one mile per hour wind. I'm going to have to apply full backspin here. It's the ideal club. Love that lanterns. Never seen them in the game before in the tee box. Tiny slow, but the yardage is bang on. And that is going to leave me a pin high putt, hopefully for a birdie that we can convert. There's only a tiny bit of movement here. I'm just going left center off the cup. Try and get a straight putt line, which we've gotten. And that's right into the center of the cup. And we do move to eight under par. But what a cool hole. Hole number 11. This is a short par four. 
It looks like we are in Ewok country here. Let's go Fairy Wood. I'm just going to apply a good bit of draw here just to take a little bit of the distance off. It's a lovely, lovely strike. This ball should comfortably run up onto the dance floor. Come on. Oh, this could be ideal. This is going to set up another eagle opportunity. What a fantastic golf shot that was. And I have been rewarded with a very makeable eagle putt here from 11 feet. Just playing this firm. And that's right into the heart of the cup. And we do move to 10 under par. Our scoreline now starting to reflect how well we are striking the ball. Hole number 12. Short par three. Love the detail with the Ewok houses there and the bridges. This really is cool. Gap wedge is going to be made for this. Let's overpower it. 102% fast. It's going to come up a little bit short, but it should get a big bounce. And that has left me, I was going to say a 15-foot putt, but it's 18 feet. Very quiet greens here. But I love the contrast in holes. You are getting short par fours, long par threes, short par threes, large greens, short greens where target goals required. Lots of variation in the holes. Hole number 13, one, two, one. The wind's died down to nothing now. Gap wedge should be good here. It's a tiny fast, but this is right at it. This is right at it. Is it going to sit down? That ball ran out a little bit more than I would have liked. Putt will turn from left to right. Let's play this one firm. And that should take a little bit of the breakout, which it has done. And that ball does drop. And we move to 12 under par. So fantastic back nine so far. Long may it continue. Hole number 14. It's another extremely sharp par four. This really is an easy golf course. Ideal for warming up prior to, to online events, I would say. There's a perfect. It's another shot I'm hoping releases out from the fairway. It's an uphill green here. Has it got the legs? Oh, it does. That's a lovely bounce. A little bit too firm, though. But a fantastic bounce there. And that has left me another great eagle opportunity from eight feet out. This course really does give you the opportunity to go low here. 14 under par with four holes to play. And it should have been better. We missed two really easy birdie opportunities. But hole number 15, it's a longer par three this time. Six iron should be ideal here. It's a tiny fast. This should kick right and uphill towards the pin. It's done exactly that. And that's another really good approach shot. Very happy with how I've been striking the ball today, considering I'm hardly playing this game, guys. It's still such a fun game. I really enjoy it. And that is a terrible putt. I thought I played that firm enough to, to eliminate a little bit of the break. But there's a solid par putt. And I should be 17 under here. Let that sink in. That is insane. We are playing on master swing difficulty. Here we go on hole number 16. 16. I'm going to try and land this one right next to the pin. Let's Seven iron. I have applied a good bit of backspin, so this ball should stop almost stone dead. It has done. We're pin high. Well and hopefully this time we do bird. pick up the birdie. A little bit of movement left to right. That should turn. It has done, and that is a really good read. It does get me to 15 under. Let's see if we can finish with two birdies here. But if only I could putt, I think we would have finished this round about 19, 20 under. Let's try and overpower this gap wedge. I want to carry that slope. I don't want the ball landing on that down slope. It'll give me a firm kick, but that is a laser beam perfect. We did get the overpower swing. And that's another really good approach shot. We are getting dialed into some of these pins. Some of these putts really offer some test and reads though. But that's a solid confident putt. It does move me to 16 under par. And we are going to move on to the final hole. 
of Chewbacca Runt's Star Wars themed golf course. It really has been a pleasure playing this. Pitch and wedge should be good here. Just playing the wind. It's a tiny slope, but the wind is bringing that back round. This should get a firm kick. Could we finish with an ace? We couldn't. It just misses the right hand side of the cup. Hopefully we can convert this five foot putt for the birdie and try and finish at 17 under par. We do exactly that, but there we go guys. Skywalker by Chewbacca Run, a Star Wars fantasy theme short course. It's really worth a play, very rewarding, and I hope you did enjoy this video. If you did guys, please make sure to leave a like. If you are new to the channel, smash the subscribe button. And until the next video, Take care, peace out, and love you all. Bye. Thank you ever so much for playing.